Yo, what, 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 who, I don't even know what to say right now, dude. What, what's going on? Like, I, I, how the hell do you not play ISOZO right now in this game? Explain that to me. Someone give me an answer. I, I'm just curious. I know Jay Ellis doesn't like ISOZO. Jay Ellis, why, why you don't play ISOZO today? I have nothing. <laughs> nothing, eh? I got no, I'm serious, though. So I'm serious. I, I, I don't understand. Like, yo, this guy, and I don't care. Like, I know, R, listen, RJ's amazing, and I think he's going to be a, a, a perennial all-star down the line. But I don't care what anyone says. Alonzo Trier is our best offensive perimeter player on the team. He's the only t- person on the team who can shoot the three and penetrate. He's the only one. And in a game that's in the 80s and the 70s and the 90s, you're not going to put that guy in the game? Like, that lineup that CP was talking about, with I remember that, that that atrocious lineup. It's like the Not guy was trying part. to lose the game on purpose. Yeah, that, that's a, that's just crazy, purpose. man. You you cannot have Kevin Knock at the two, the way that this roster is constructed, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, and he went extended minutes with that. That wasn't just like a two minute thing. That was like a six seven minute thing. Like I, I just I don't understand. I mean, when your when your team is not like. That's what an isolation, like, even if ISO needs to move the ball, and we all can admit he needs to move the ball, and he has flaws in his game. But the, the beauty of having a player like that is that when the offense does get bogged down, instant you can offense. give him the ball, and he's instant offense. Need instant offense. Two, three-point shots, a six-point swing in a game like this, where you're in the 80s and it's so hard to get points, a six-point swing could change the entire game, and that guy could do it in his sleep. Like, yeah. it just... He's being blackballed. He's being Carmelo Anthony right now by uh, by <laughs> by David Fisdale. And honestly, if I'm listen, if I'm if I'm Isozo, uh, honestly, if this continues, I, I'm I would demand a trade if I was him, and I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't blame him because mm. it's what team? What team puts their best offensive perimeter player and doesn't play him at all? Period. I don't care if he doesn't pass the ball ever. He, like okay, don't give him that many minutes. But come on, if you're looking for a spark. Put him in. Give him five minutes. If he's not good, take him out. It's sure. unbelievable. Like, it's unreal. And that's the first thing. The second, and there's two, two more other things. Mm-hmm. The other thing quickly is that who are we, who are we trading? Julius Randle or Marcus Morris? Who you you got, got, who, you're who trading Morris. Right? You're, you're, not, you're not trading yeah. Julius. You're trading not Morris. Morris, Julius. Morris is who you're trading. Yeah, but even if you can get more for Randall, you still would rather trade more. I don't even think you can get. Yeah, I don't even. I think the trade value for each is pretty equal right now, too. Ah, I don't really see. No, what, I, I mean, you, what, 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 what are you really getting for Julius Randall right now, bro? I don't know. I think you would get. What about Den, Dennis Schroeder? Dennis Schroeder. Coach Ice Carter was talking about Dennis Schroeder in the chat. What about I him? Don't, I like Schroeder. Schroeder. Schroeder would be nice. I like Schroeder. Schroeder. Would, Schroeder. Would somebody asked me that on nice. Twitter. I, I definitely like Schroeder. I've, I've always liked Schroeder because. Because you also don't understand, like, the reason why ISO and, and, you know, the ball sticks, especially with ISO and all the other players, is because there's no point guard. ISO is one of the, would be one of the biggest beneficiaries to have a point guard on the team that could actually run the offense and be a threat. Like, I know Frank is good in defense, but, like, there was no Zach Levine, there was no James Harden on this team. Like, it's just, I, I just, honestly, yeah. man, I just, I'm, I'm done with Fisdale, dude. I don't know what to say. I'm really depressed, and, um... I'm on the ledge right now, and I need some help. Ah, hang in there, man. Hang in there, bro. <laughs> it was a rough one, man. A rough one. Hey, listen. I, like I said, I, I would have liked to have seen ISO in there in a spurt. We had nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose. Yeah. He can't hurt us. You know, he can only help us. And yeah. um, when 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 things get tight like that, and and you know, you already know you you're not running uh uh, uh good sets and good offense out there. Throw them out there. Why not? Yeah, at this point, my why not? Nothing else is working. The, the turnovers are still getting high. We, like we can't keep just having all the the big men take all the shots all the time. And somebody from some one of the guards got to do something. And tonight was the night that uh, our guard RJ he did, he looked normal today. He looked human. So. Yeah. All, no, RJ was it. human tonight. I gave him. I gave it to him. I said, like, you know what, man, you, you don't have it tonight, kid. It's all good, bro. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. No, you, no doubt. You've been carrying a team for like for the first. Yeah, one. give him give him the <laughs> night off, man. Give him the night off. It, yeah. was, it was a tough. It was a tough one for him, man. So to everybody in the chat once again.